Well, here we are. Let's just pick a map, and meanwhile, probably somebody in the chat wants me to tell what to play tonight. Who knows? But I can't select for myself. I really am able to do so. So today, I want to have something with more different AI players. Hornflower. 3-4-T. Islands. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want islands right now. I don't feel ready for naval gameplay. Lost Doll. Six towns. Any direction. Oh, let's try that one. That sounds fun. So, order, I had literally no clue when I tried that out for the first time what the heck I was doing. Pillar, same there. I think I had them only in one of my guide videos. Arcane, we had yesterday. Arcane, DK, and Pyre are out. Lament, well, Horde, Wild, Tide, Enclave, or Earthen. <laughs> So sadly, there is nobody around tonight. So I have to select by myself, okay. So I'm strongly biased towards order or trying out something entirely different. Or going for the wild. Nah, let's go for let's go for paladins and stuff tonight. I like the idea of that. So, well, let's play yellow. That's the uh, holier than you color, and let's get started. There's a lot of islands around here. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, so what up here? Riza the priest. She starts with creation. Blessing. Blesses all friendly units after casting a spell. This increases health, damage, and speed temporarily by 25% per rank. Okay, spell spam. Let's go for the tavern, and... Oh yeah, I get a general on top of that. Nice. Ah! Misclicks! I didn't mean to. Damn. Okay, let's redo that. This is very hey, personal! Hey, Joe, hi there. Ansas, welcome. And congratulations to that gift. Joran, hi there. Long time no see, so happy to see you around, man. And, well, hi Joe, I haven't seen you writing anything, but I'm sure you must be around. <laughs> so, where, which one did I take there? No. This is very this one personal. Here. Oh my god, it continues. Thank you, Joe, for your continued support. So we're going to play some Paladins, unless you guys uh, have personal. some different wishes. I mean, I'm open for everything. So if anybody wants to see a particular uh, faction, there's only no mages, uh, necromancers, or demons, because we have them already. So. And I already played those off-camera for a while, so I'd be definitely uh, liking some, some input. We get we have some Japanese faction here or Asian. We have underground troglodyte monster stuff, minotaurs and gorgons and whatnot. Classic goblins, elves and stuff, um, sea monsters, dwarves, and I really don't know what the enclave creatures uh, are supposed to be. Swamp dwellers, I guess. Order, yes, Joe. That's the uh, paladin stuff. You have no clue about the, uh, you look the, uh, you like the look of the tide. 
Well, if Joe's okay, if Joe was, if that was a vote for from Joe, I'll take that. I wanted to play order anyway, so fits the picture. Go with whoever. Well, then let's stick with order. I mean, I have to try them one after another, so. <laughs> And when I played them for the first time, I had literally so not a clue about what I was doing that my gameplay sucked. So Fioni, that's a different priest than the first one. Aromancy, okay. So, tavern. And, yeah, get a general. I had no clue that you can't just click multiple times to recruit several heroes in a row. That wasn't something new for me. That's the plan, Joe. That's the plan. It's always the problem with the time. So, decrepit sawmill. We can't pick up those, can we? Hell yeah. So, we got Arcane and the first faction I missed. Well, I'll catch it in the next turn. So, what to recruit here? Or what to build? Blacksmith, Infirmary. There's the Armory. Providing archers. Hulpadeers. Counting house. Oh, more money. Decent. So, well, let's move my heroes and then consider what to build or what not to build. So, Obelisk. There's a gold mine. Ooh, treasure chest. Awesome. Well, that sounds a little bit sad, Joe. I mean, grabbing food from McDee's in the first place, I mean. But le get, letting it get cold is even worse. I feel you. Poor you, man. So, we're going to go for the counting house. I don't need any troops right now, and more gold per turn. You can't start too early with that. If I learned anything, then it's income maximization is good for you. So we got that. Let's continue with the infirmary so we are battle ready. I mean,. I don't have any troops to uh, fight with, but that doesn't matter. So, Sulfur. Right now we're uh, we're in the big resource grab phase. Never uh, anyway. So, who needs troops? You can't just grab everything for free. Okay. So there's the quarry. Where's the sawmill? Shouldn't there be one? Crystal mine? Ah, it's a decrepit one, I see. Okay. Well, there are... There's a couple of things, Joe, that I personally keep thinking myself, myself, uh, to myself. Why the hell don't uh, do I not do that more often? I guess we all know that. So which hero we're going to pump up first? So Lanzo, rallying. Gives rallying to all friendly units close to the hero. Health, damage, and speed. Diplomacy. After combat allows your hero to hire some of the defeated enemies in units for gold. No thanks. This uh this would lead to chaos. Let's stick with the priestess. I love spellcasters anyways. So we got the blessing, aromancy, hydromancy, spell regen. Oh logistics. That's a really good one. 
and free griffins. Sorcery, potency, champion, bodyguards, fortune, healing, elementalist, and mysticism. So yeah, this is a uh, this is as uh, spell cost heavy as it can get with this faction. Nice. All right, then let's uh, move her back home, and our good friend Lanzo can keep grabbing stuff. There's some wood up here. Let's start building. So we have four four building slots. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. So I can afford all the troops and the uh, major skill. Nice. I'm so looking forward to tomorrow when the when there's when the embargo for Soul Ash is lifted. Finally a roguelike where you just have to destroy the entire world. What's not to like about that? I can't wait to show it off. It's really, it's really, uh, quite fun so far. Medical school. Militia expert. Grand army. Hmm. Heck, why not? So, Swordsman or Strongarm? Knockback and Berserk or Overall Sturdiness? I'll, I'll prefer the Overall Sturdiness. Okay. Lament, I see. Well, don't worry, I'll be streaming it more than uh, once, Joe. As far as I can see it, this might be, uh, this will definitely show up a couple of times after the release. Okay, we have two more building slots left. So, I'm opting out of the Mage's Guild. It's not easy for me. Ooh, the fort. Fort or chapel. I'll, I built the chapel. Survivor, Regeneration, or Monks, ranged units, so oh, well, I know what I roll with. You know, Monks, when playing the Order faction in Heroes of Might and Magic, always had some tradition and I can't go, can't let go from old habits. So let's do this. Oh, look at that, we're actually, we should be actually able to find that tre treasure now. So, it's right next to the teleporter here. Treasure! There we go. Nice. So this will help a lot in expanding my town. Oh, that sounds beautiful, Joe. Well... With Soul Ash, it's, it's it's really cool. Like uh, you start out as a minor baddie, like uh, you you start out as an evil god, taking possession of a weak mortal, and then you have to work yourself upwards, and uh, eventually you're growing uh, into into a power where you can actually kill the gods of the world and uh, change things. Because you know it's not that good for the rest of the world when gods cease to exist, and uh, yeah. I I don't know how if it's that much fun to get there, but it sure the premise of the game surely uh, looks pretty uh, looks pretty exciting, and what I've played so far has been a lot of fun as well. And it's quite hard. I died a lot too. <laughs> so last day of my endeavors, I can't build the fort because I'm out of wood. Tragic, but at least I have all the buildings up that I wanted to have. Let's go for the center of order. More income, hooray. Always good. Can't say no to more money. So, sawmill. Now, we got marksmen, monks, swordsmen, and militia. Okay. Oh, I've got only one spell, and uh, it's haste. Okay. So she blesses the, the units uh, she casts spells at, so 
definitely worth doing that immediately. Me, I'm uh, at the challenges, Joe. When do I do challenges? I like easy gameplay. You know me. I'm somewhat tempted to give Elden Ring a look. I'm somewhat tempted. But then again, I actually don't want to touch it because it's so swarmed with, uh, with tons of uh, other content creators that I'd never get anything back for my time that I invest there. It's so sad that nowadays I, I look at things like that, but I have to, you know. I am a businessman after all. So, let's haste the dudes one more time. It's a very hype gang, yeah, that's true. All your friends are talking about it. <laughs> hey, paper boy. Well, it sure does sound quite delightful. Like, I, I do like the fact that it uh, has the outlook of old school games, but what I dislike about Elden Ring is one thing, one trend that I uh, noticed in the last couple of years that all those big ass games feature only one protagonist. And it, I, I find it so freaking boring that all these games center around one egomaniac dude that conquers the world. I miss those times when you were uh, building a team that's setting out and uh, conquering the world. That's, uh, I know with action games that formula doesn't work too well. <laughs> I'm well aware of that. But I really miss some 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 old school gaming with, with party and, uh, you know, teamwork. And not just... Uh, one man army gameplay. I dig that at times, but it starts to bore me out a bit, as of recently. Yeah, Joe, I, 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 I hear you, man. I, I'm looking forward so much to the point that this, this channel and the community has grown to the point where I'll just play whatever I want because I don't have to this worry about peer pressure personal. from uh, bigger, uh, bigger channels and whatnot. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> I'm looking forward so much to that time, but right now I try to make the best, uh, the best balance, you know, to, uh, between uh, business decisions and uh, fun decisions for this channel. And I think I'm doing quite a good job so far. I hope at least. Who knows? You guys know. <laughs> So, for example, I, I stopped playing um, some of these China games, as many of you might have noticed, like uh, Tale of Immortal, because they seriously burned me out. And it was a hard decision for me, because financially they were the most successful thing I had in my hands in the last couple of uh, months, but no, just not feasible. <laughs> it's, just too, it's just too strainful, man. Kari Kabu, hey there. I always seem to play excellent games. Well, thank you. That's a really kind of you to say. Yeah, I do my best, Joe. I do my best. Whenever I notice that I do something too much for the numbers entirely, I, I drop it. Because that's when I burn myself out. At least I learned something out of my breakdowns. <laughs> you know... So, we could build a major skill. I should build something. Build something every day. Don't stop building. Engineer's Workshop. Oh, I'm gonna drop the Architect. That's bringing me extra money. And like I keep... Like I like to say, money is absolutely important. Vectorio. Oh man, that's a good note. That's a good note. Whenever I, I, I start getting back into the factory games, I grow ill, and then I, uh, then I have so much distance to them that I don't find the time to get back into it. Right now, I'm, uh, I want to get back into Dyson Sphere program. I want to do so uh, a couple of tutorials for it quite badly. And, uh, yeah. But, um... Uh, I was quite ill, and then now Heroes Hour came on the table now that I am uh, feeling well again. And then the family needed me a week more, so 
Victoria Wang as soon as possible. That's the only thing I can say, because the factory must grow. <laughs> no, mastery. No, no, no. I want the Hydromancy. I want extra spells. Please. Thank you. What did we pull? Bless? Alright. So, is that even... Is that even good? So, I get... That doesn't sound effective. Oh, I'm I'm happy that you are uh, teasing that, Joe. I keep thinking. Uh, I, I keep uh, looking forward myself to uh, to coming back to these games, but they require quite a high brain load, and uh, recently I didn't have that capacity open run, sadly. But we have we had like. Uh, now almost two weeks of hardcore sleep denial from our kid, so I'm a little bit burned out on that end too. He's uh, he's uh, in a quite delightful mood again, but it's slowly wearing off. But I guess the growth pains are are what I have to blame there good skip your outcome i like it when i can do that you lose a monk how did how the hell did you manage tell me fiony tell me all about it so i want the upgraded aeromancy please deflect missile Ooh, that sounds good so explain me game effects friendly units take no damage from the next three range attacks that sounds good yeah, I had to cut uh, cut back with the streaming. I had to, sadly. But one thing I'm quite happy to see over the time is that I seem to be absolutely able to um, cut back on work whenever, whenever I, I grow to uh, burn out myself or anything like that. I'm quite proud of myself. I haven't been that good at these things uh, in, in my past, so it's a cool feeling to see that, you know. I don't kill myself with my work anymore. <laughs> so, neutral enemies are roaming around. The Palace of Order here is quite sick. We got 20% extra, extra troops out of that. So, week two. I want that palace quite badly. That's 1,000 gold more. And the cathedral, but that's only a thing of gold. Wonderful. Whoop. So, challenging, hard, moderate. This squad here, but mm, I'll, I'll rather upgrade my army before I tackle that. Because it's just a spell shrine and a campfire that doesn't seem to be worth the losses I would uh, I would have here. That's mostly ranged units with some swordsmen to tank the crap. Pretty nasty pack. So and we we are we are hitting the borders of our territory here. I'd say nice. Okay. Hey, Rissy, we're playing Order. We're playing Born Old Paladins. Not just kidding, I love the faction. Always love the, uh, the life factions in games like these. Oh, crap. To reach the Cathedral, we'd need the Ford and the Stronghold. Man. Conscription Center allows me to instantaneously enlist units at cost of daily income. Allows me to discharge own units to increase the <laughs> Alright, so that sounds delightful. But I want the Ford. So we need we need wood for him somewhere. Let's see where I can where I can pull this out. Nowhere. Damn. So, there's no troops to recruit either. 
I can refill some of those losses here. Meh. So, if I'd be able to pull this off, so... One, two, three, four. So basically it's possible, let's try it with the marketplace. It could be, I could be able to pull off all three buildings, although I deem it unlikely. We'll see about that. Eep, what's there? Once captured, halberdiers each week to fight for my cause. Now that sounds like something that's actually worth it. Well, I've been surprised how, uh, how how busy you've been the last couple of weeks, Joe. Must be something good, I hope, for you. Alright, so we're going to whip up a lot of extra troops with all the um, buildings we get there. So, we need 16 units of wood. Yeah and 25 units of ore. Sounds doable, honestly. Sounds doable. So here. What kind of troops do we increase? Hmm. That's a hard decision. It's always a very, very hard decision. I want to go for the swordsmen because they're uh, they're on my front line, and the more I got of these dudes, the better. Overgrown crystal mine. That's even better. Let's go for that one. So what's the what's the the enemy? Waveborn, prismatic, okay. and animas. So, this is quite a nasty fight. So luckily I got that Deflect Missile spell. This will cut my losses quite good. So, let's uh, hasten our dudes. I mean, as long as I only lose these militiamen, I really don't care about my losses, because they are literally the cannon fodder units of my faction. Swordsmen are a little bit more troublesome, but at the end of the day, they are meant to be, uh, to be used like that. Hey, Ash, hi there. Well, I love to hear that there's so many uh, so many positive things between that. There's a crap ton of work to do <laughs> aspect, Joe. Yeah. So, mm, I want I want more more spells. Dizzy tune confuses a large group of enemy creatures. I want that. Confusion sounds good. I love disabling spells in this game a lot. They make they, they they cut your losses so effectively. I love that. Now that wasn't too profitable at the first place, but let's see. Alright, I, I really got no work for my dude here. It's quite tragic, but he can't just hang around and chill. Did that skill say recruit a griffin? Yes, it did. But I'm focusing right now more on the spellcasting stuff. But I'll grab that later, don't you worry. <laughs> so we need the stronghold. 13 units of wood and 5,000 gold. So that's pretty easily doable so far. Stronghold. Grand Army. Mithril Armor or Well of Power. Hmm. I'll pick up the spell power. I love spell power. So we picked Swordsmen. Let, let's pick the Monks for the other upgrade. Yes. 
For for some reason, the Griffins are the highest ranking unit for this faction in this uh, in this game. No, I don't want to try to conquer the keep without reinforcements. The losses will be just too grim. Aw, oh, damn. I, I hate being one shot in risk of rain, Ash. I, I hate it so much. Yeah, we should definitely set up a multiplayer round for uh, risk of rain. Anybody, uh, Rusty, Ash, are you up for uh, for that during the weekend, probably? I'd love to do that. Because I suck so hard at the uh, last boss fight and I finally want to get it done. I was so angry the other night when I got one shot by my own drone. I find that a very sucky interaction. Why the hell does the item exist if it just uh, kills you? I don't know. I really didn't like that. Felt bad, man. But beyond that, the new update was, re was really fun. Don't get me wrong. Just, uh, just sad that I got one shot by my own creation. So, I need 1,100 gold. Damn, I have to sell a lot of stuff for that. But we're going to sell away. We're going to do this nevertheless. Because I know it's going to be worth it. So, here we go. That should be the money we need. Bam. So, Crusaders or Cavalry? I'll, I'll rather take the Cavalry so we can charge into nasties rather easily. Okay. I did it, actually. It did cost me a lot of my uh, of my power, but I did it. New game mode is fun. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree. I totally agree. Did I miss something there? Are you software? Why are you sleepy? Well, whatever. Yeah, I find it really weird, though, that the final boss steals all your items in uh, in Risk of Rain. Because that means, basically, if you want to kill the boss, you'll have to do a quite boring variant of your gameplay where you try to be as weak as possible so you don't get one shot or by your own items in the end. And I find that that's okay, but, but seriously, as a standard thing for everybody to actually finish the game? Ooh. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Gotta say. I don't like that one. But that's just me. I don't need to like everything out there. So, Dizzy Tune. Mm, making them unable to fight for a period of time. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll rather do the deflect missile thing again. Wow, the spell power is so big by now. Ah, the items come back while he uh, is going to be damaged, I see. Well, I, I totally dislike it, honestly, because in my scenario, I, I did totally get, uh, get one shot by an item where I was like, okay, you basically can't pick the item, the uh, spare drone parts, because you'll create a drone that'll just snap you. <laughs> That's just silly. I don't know. Probably there are classes to mitigate that, but... Uh... Well, whatever. Risk of Rain does do a couple of really strange things at, at times. So, here you go, uh, Rusty. Griffin, for you. We get half a Griffin, Griffin per week, though, so don't get too excited. We'll have to uh, glue them together at the end of the second week. Liv, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Just get good exactly as that's what I like to hear. But at the end of the day, it's actually the only thing that's uh, that's worth thinking uh, off or it's worth keeping in mind of those things. 
and seriously, the uh, the randomness, uh, the random interactions in Risk of Rain are, are, are just sometimes extremely whack. So... Only slowly getting my myself ahead there, because I keep expanding my town. But that's worth it. Love me some Homstar gameplay, me too, Flynn. Me too. Quick question. Oh, I missed that one. I'm sorry. Just learned, does Comet Hands off or does it have strategy to it? Well, that's uh, up to you. You can't just do it as an auto battler, but you can also command every single squad and tell them where to move, where to attack, and what to do. Or you just let them do their thing. Or you can do something in between like I do here. Most of the time I, I work pretty uh, active with my spell casting, but let the units do their movement and their targeting on their own. That's uh, for me a pretty fun formula. But uh, the more the, the more you go for... Oh, let's go for the precision. Precision. <laughs> the more you go for... Um, commanding your units uh, by hand and the more you know what the enemy's able to and whatnot the more efficiency you can get out of there for sure but it's more of an auto battler honestly well i'd love to have some steam deck but it's so freaking costly <laughs> I loved it. I, I loved it uh, all in all though. I I think it's going to be a great thing. Although I haven't checked out the details, I, I have to admit there. Tower of Idolatry allows creation of a special one of a kind unit, the idol. Two artifacts, one of which is a weapon, must be sacrificed to create this unit. The better the, I the artifacts, the stronger the idol. Okay. <laughs> Transform your artifacts into critters. So, let's go for the Conscription Center. And the next thing we want to go for is the Griffin Tower. So, needs money, needs wood, needs ore. Well, that's all doable. Nice. Wow, that's gonna be a Griffin Tower in week frickin' three, guys. I'm getting better at this. The last couple of uh, runs I had my my creature buildings done in week four. This time we're in week three done. Nice. So, I'm I'm positive that I'm ready for hard difficulty soon. Yeah, that's true, Joe, that's true. It's just that I'm uh, piss poor, that's why the Steam Deck looks so cost to me. <laughs> Not a massive console guy, yeah. I think it's a great thing for all of these, uh, for, for all the uh, people out there who can't afford a massive gaming rig, because you can get yourself a nice gaming performance for quite a low amount of money, and I appreciate that. That's a really cool thing. Alright, so let's purchase the necessary resources. Man, we're fast this time. And... Griffin Tower. We're upgrading these into Seraphs. They do retaliation! They fly! Alright, nice. And the regular ones, they don't have re uh, retaliation. Okay. There you go, Rusty Griffin. Now, with that kind of buildup, we should be able to smack some dudes. Well, kind of. Everything's rather challenging or impossible. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just chill out at our town for a couple of days and recruit stuff. Well, one day when I have a regular income, maybe, 
I'll grab one. It looks like a great thing also for my son in the long run. Steam Deck, I mean. Alright, we got ourselves our major skill now. So, what can I do here? Let's grab ourselves more monks. Town portal! Hell yeah. I love the moment when I have access to town portal. So, first strike. More attack speak. Speak, exactly. Attack speak increase. Mmm, acid splash. Ooh, this inflicts poison. Nice. It's useful. Alrighty. So, moderate difficulty, moderate difficulty. Well, we'll need those buildings as quick as possible, so... Yeah, we'll see about that. He's already a pretty big fan of computer games in general, but... What a surprise, mom and dad are as well. So, no, Thundera, ranged. Arcantation, ranged. Tundra, regent, ranged. They're all ranged. Dang it. But, luckily we got that deflect missile thing going on. This spell's really paying off a lot. Because it's flat out mitigate, negating damage totally. But honestly, we're... What the hell? Dizzy Song? A large amount of units? Pfft. That doesn't so look like a large amount to me. So, well, weakness. Also not too appealing. Haste. Well, let's hasten our backliners. We can't do anything else. <laughs> That's the spirit, Jim. No, right now I'm letting uh, letting him play a lot of logic puzzle games, whatever I can find. He loves that stuff, and uh, I think it's a good thing for uh, for him as well. Potency, sorcery, decreases the cooldown of casting spells. Hell yeah, this is such a strong trait. So, my general dude, perhaps some... And you just... Uh... Okay, well, let's tackle down the neutral army here. It's also a good uh, thing to do. So, let's see, Dizzy Tune? Yeah, okay. It's just that the elementals were pretty, uh, pretty huge units all by themselves. So, that's, uh, not ranged units, okay. So, let's go for First Strike Blessing. Hell yeah. Indeed, indeed. Well, he's already enjoying Vampire Survivors a lot. He's sitting on my lap and uh, he gets to buy the items. We're a great team here. <laughs> he also noticed today that there has been a new level released and there are new enemies. <laughs> he totally knows what I'm doing there. So, let's increase the, uh, the Griffin generation rate. I like the uh, the idea of that. Or, no mysticism first. Increased spell effectiveness, I can't say no to that. Ooh, what do we have here? Necklace of Luck. Yum. So, I'll take the XP at this point. I consider myself powerful enough that XP is turning to be more interesting than direct monetary rewards. So, next steps. I want to have a hospital to cut down my losses even more. But for now, let's just start upgrading those units, shall we? It's always a big step forward. 
Let's go for the Horbadiers. That's the first thing. My militia people are dying like flies most of the time, and that's going to put a stop to that. Cherry Bomb character. Oh yeah, that's, that that one's a lot of fun too. They they implemented a lot of cool stuff now into uh, in, into the uh, newest version of Vampire Survivors. New character and all. I did a quick video about that today, but then I uh, went off uh, and play more Soul Ash and this one here. There's so much stuff to prepare as of recently for me. Love it. It's a good time. So, Engineer's Workshop, and the hospital is frickin' five grand. Man, this is costly. Well, I'm still gonna pick all that uh, money that I got and invest it into fresh troops here. So, breaking through the gate is flacked as impossible. Thanks for the motivational speech game. And, uh, well, let's drop my general right next to that. Yeah, well, I'm really excited about, uh, about the tomorrow stream as well. I've merely played one uh, Necromancer now. Uh, no, Necromancer. One, uh, one, one Warlock, Lich Warlock, and a couple of failed fighters. It's really a lot of fun. So, echelons of magic. So, let's get going with the good old Deflect Missile Strat. Look at the Griffin go ham at these dudes. So, let's go first strike. And... Let's drop some weakness onto their backline. Um, there are different classes, so you get to select um, your starting skill, but every level up you get to select one of three skills. One of them will be always for your class, and the other two will be from other classes, so you can basically cross-class your character during the run. Yeah, well, Ash, it is a classic roguelike, and if you're... It can be, it can be weird at the beginning that they got this... Um, this side radius thing, but you can't turn that off. You can uh, switch to, to another uh, um, uh, control pattern. That's what I found extremely uh, weird at the beginning. And the other thing is, well, I feel like there is a lot of optimization to be done as well. Uh, still, there's a couple of things that uh, bothered me as well. Especially um, quality of life things. For example, there's no auto move, auto explore. There's a huge world, but you can't automatically move your character from one way to, to from one point to another. You always have to put to do that uh, manually. So there's a couple of things, but um, well, the premise is uh, looking really good though. Yeah, I hear where you're coming from, Ash. I I totally do. And I, I, I and I agree to uh, to some degree that there are a lot of things that look like they need some polish, but I I think it's uh, it's only because this game is being made by not too many people, and you know most of the time it comes down with, to such reasons. All right, we got the hospital. Bam, nice. Well, we'll see about um, all the good things and bad things tomorrow. 
Can't wait, though. So, Griffin, Griffin, more Griffin. I can't afford my, uh, my riders here. Damn. I ran out of Holbadiers, but one thing that I now want to do is I want to grab myself the Arbalists, or do I want to have Paragons? Yes, yes, Paragons, hell yeah. They got Taunt and Projectile uh, Protection. Right now, they only got Sturdy and Protection. That's a huge upgrade. They don't gain too many stats, though. Oh, well, that's fair enough. They gain a lot of other uh, useful things. So I'd love to have more upgrades on my other ranged dudes as well, but, you know, you can't have everything, I guess. So. Time to conquer the rest of my turf. Good night, Joe. It's been a pleasure to see you again, and have a good time, my man. And sleep well. I'm a little bit tired myself, too. I don't know. I've been tired the entirety of the last couple of days, even though I slept really... a lot. Enough, for sure. Alright, so... Wow, that's lots of... That's lots of mages. So, let's, uh... Wait a sec, the Dizzy Tune does uh, make them unable to fight. So we're going to start with the Deflect Missile stuff. And that's why I wanted to have the, um, the Paragons. Because I feel like they're... Uh, they are already resilient against three ranged attacks. Then I put another three ranged attacks on top of that. So... Sounds like a pretty good thing to me. But the Griffins are going ham on these dudes, actually. It's a good thing that we have a natural generation of these. It's a pretty sick thing that this hero gets to produce the um, highest tier unit of his faction for free. I totally overlooked that the Griffins are the highest tier unit of this faction. It's a little bit, it's been a little bit of a derp uh, for me. So, Champion increases the health and damage of elite creatures. Mmm. Creatures with power 9 plus. Yeah, and I want that healing because it's reviving even more units. Less losses. Always less losses. Okay, that's flagged as an easy fight as well. Nice. Alright. Let's keep upgrading these places. Oh! Grand Army Commercial Center gives a medium amount of once a week. Okay. Or defense. Well, I'll take the defense upgrade at this point. The resource generation isn't that much of a big deal anymore. And while it is great to have that, aren't, uh, aren't I UP? Um, the other dude right now is more like a fetch boy, and I don't have the resources um, to staff him out with his own army, but in the long run he will receive his own army and be leveled out as well. But for now we don't have the necessary resource to do so. So this time I'm actually shielding my backline. And let's put up first strike here. And precision my own ranged attackers and be out of mana. But I'm going to put up a dizzy spell on my uh on my enemies there. Oh, that was good. Look at that. Almost no losses. Okay, I think we're ready to leave our territory. Nice. 
well, not quite ready, but uh, getting there. Conquered the entire area here, so it's pretty nice. Let's build the hostler, though. I love the uh, plus four permanent move speed. That's just uh, brilliant, you know. Mobility is such a valuable stat, and uh, can't can't put uh, up enough of that. Oh, there's another thing that I want to stream in the next couple of uh, days, weeks, whatever. I um, got told that there's a really nice set of mods for Heroes of Might and Magic 3 that uh, makes it pretty on par with uh, today's stuff. So I want to try that out and stream that. So you guys can look forward to that, I guess. Okay, let's just recruit dudes for now. I want those knights, finally. Alright. We could be upgrading more in the future. We will be upgrading more in the future, but for now. So, all of these places are flagged as challenging, except for that one. That's only moderate. So, it's right over there. So, this dude has 17 halberdiers on his army. Transfer them over there. And there we go. Never played heroes before? Mm -hmm. It's been a great series. Heroes 3, though, was a, um, was a part of the franchise where I've been just too young to play it correctly. I was just too dumb to to put it into quite frank words. And I'm quite happy that I can relive that, probably. Okay, now I've got 20 mana. Let's go into the missile deflection mode. Probably should have done that for my range, ranged units there, though. But we can, actually. Bam. There we go. This will cut further losses, for sure. Let's speed up a bit. Yeah, for me, Heroes of Mind and Magic was pretty uh, pretty much too hard for, uh, for the most part. I lost all of my cavalry in that one. Heck. Uncool, man. Uncool. But I'm so hard out of mana, too, so I can't change it for now. Jeez, those guys are resilient. Well, that's that's okay. It's been a uh, border uh, post anyway, so these are like always pretty uh, well defended. Ooh, dragons, Idre. Skipped fights. Elementalism, potency, fortune. No, I want more of those free griffins. Platinum boots versus experience. Unit speed plus two. Oh, we have a second one of those. <laughs> Fun. Alright, let's plunder the heck out of this place. So... Let's upgrade that thing next. Well, most of the units we lost are here, saved by the hospital, though, so... It's really not that horrible. Golden Cape. Leather chest. Oh, we definitely need to take something else than that. So. He can have the, the duplicate here. 
Wait a sec, didn't he loot an insanely good uh, shield here? Yeah, he did. Okay. It's a waste to have these items not on my main army. So, there's quite some sick... enemy presence here. Heavy sword. Oh, there's a neutral town to conquer. Nice. But we're going to go for a town portal here. And I want my I want my upgrades and I want my reinforcements. We are way too low on everything here to proceed. So, Friars, what are, what's the deal about them? They're just, uh, more, more powerful, huh? Okay. I don't see any difference between the, their original version. I didn't check out the stats, though. The Flash Wanders, they're crazy, like, uh... Creature can combine human order corpses on the battlefield into permanent survivors. I have to play that at some point, but not now. It sounds pretty ew, but uh, at the same time, you know, necromancy ain't uh, ain't different. Okay. enemies upon us. The Verdant Lament showed its face. So, it's a moderate threat. I didn't do my job too bad then. So... I want to put up more of my sword fighters. They're so crazy tough. Okay. Let's pick up those pikemen. Uh, Hobbidius, I'm sorry. And check out what the enemy does there. On the other hand, Mr. General can just uh, keep roaming here. Black Market. Interesting. It's not as if I had any money to spend, but uh, that's pretty cool. Water necromancy. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> as a matter of fact, you actually nailed it. That's exactly what it is. Water necromancy. So, um, there, um, the enemy is not engaging. Well, it's not unusual. So, Knight of Order has projectile protection. Okay. Or we go for the Paladins. Uh, well, next time I probably go for the Paladins. I like that uh, that wall of, uh, of steel moving towards your enemy. But let's go for the Archives of Magic, too. New spells are always uh, dandy. So, what did I learn here? Hurricane. Instantly teleports my hero to a random spot on the map. Okay. Elemental Thunder. Holy Light. Heals friendly units. And we do bless our units at the same time while we do that. It's pretty spiffy. Well, I'll have to wait until the green units break through that barrier. Sadly, I can't do anything before that. Would be... Would be pretty... Uh, silly. Because I either grow so strong that I can break through that barrier myself with almost no losses, or I let the AI do that for me, and let them carry the losses. 
We have to do it one way or another, though. Oh, that's a respawn here on my turf. Oh, man, we lost a griffin to that? Okay. You know what? There's a daily autosave. I disagree. I strongly disagree. Well, I have no clue, honestly, uh, Rissi, how long the game actually does take to finish. But knowing how roguelikes work in general, I bet it's a uh, pretty long time. Hard to tell so far, hard to tell. So... So how on earth did the AI manage to lose that many units when I did press auto restore? How? I beg for an explanation. Take down that roaming neutral army, that's a perfect victim for my firepower. So, let's drop some elementals in right into their fray. I love to do that. It's one of my favorite tricks. Because that keeps the pressure away from your own units, and at the same time it keeps the enemy quite busy. Yeah, we're losing a couple of Palpadeers, but, uh, well, it's their job to be destroyed, I guess. Oh my god, now it's a little bit many, huh? 40 of 58. Man, that's 4,000 gold we just lost there. But it's okay, it's been a neutral hero after all. So let's go for logistics, rank 2. I like the idea of being able to, uh, of being that fast. So, male griefs. Do I have something for the legs? No, I don't. Hell yeah. So, more gold. Wonderful. Goblin tower. No, what I want to have here is that town, first and foremost. Then I can staff out my general with a new army. It might be not an order army, but it is an army after all, isn't it? I've seen some really wild, uh, bad reviews about uh, this game here already. It's been quite interesting. What aggravated a couple of people is quite hard. So let's put the defense missile on my ranged units so we don't lose as, as many this time. And let's increase the attack speed of my my swordsman. weakness in these dudes. Well, the reviews I read, the negative ones were like, there's only semi-depth to this game, like uh, it's an auto-battler and uh, you win everything by just over by, by just putting up overwhelming odds, but yeah, well, it's true for pretty much every game of the genre. Then it was called overpriced for what it's offering, when I like, was like, man, 20 
dollars are overpriced for what you get there. You literally can't say that you'll be getting less than 20 hours out of that when you want to play every faction. And then the last part was that your actions in combat are, in the end, pretty much not important at all and don't do anything. And the factions were, are, are, were called imbalanced and uh, wildly imbalanced. I can't tell so far. So far, I haven't had any troubles with any of the factions, but, I mean, it's against AI, so... <sighs> Probably AI is not really a good um, way to measure the balance of uh, the game. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh... I don't know. People are unhappy with the AAA titles, but give them a good indie game that for sure has some flaws and has some things to be, uh, that need improvement, but, uh, they'll be like, oh man, what a crappy game, but then they'll just pay, pay 50 to 60 bucks again to the, uh, to the local, um, to the next triple H um, company and be mad as hell as well. So, I don't know. It's crazy with gamers these days. But I guess it's been all like that always. Damn, we lost a Griffin. <laughs> you should. Well, if you get one hour playtime per euro, it's good for you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I uh, keep telling myself, Ash. I mean, I don't exactly like to measure so it, my my games in a way like that, but if I'd had to measure, I think this is a pretty decent way to measure. Trying to calculate the amount of fun per hour versus the costs. I missed some boots, pod boots. They offer creature speed. That's sick. And, except for the Citadel, this town's almost complete. Most of the time you get more than that, true bad. Most of the, most of the time, time is the missing component. <laughs> Not the good games on my side. Um, pod boots. Yeah. I've got so many upgrades on, on call beasts in this kit in this kit. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty tragic, so we don't use it at all. So let's get back home, and let's build up this town a bit. Upgraded Bastion, Hall of Demons. So there we go. Demon Carer, and Demon Tamer. Well, let's go for the Carer. <laughs> so our order troops, it's heaven and hell, I like it. Rimworld is something else, especially with the mo with modding. Uh, it's, it's just crazy. Okay. So now I got the knights of the o knights of order. The projectile protection protection on those should be really nice. Okay, I'm broke yet again, but I upgraded my unit stockpiles quite massively. So let's head over there and spank the green player a bit. If possible, that is. The other enemies are Kane. Hmm. Already a bit worried about that. Okay, so let's crack open that easy uh, thing there. So our enemies all melee. So let's put up our uh, shields there. 
and let's increase our attack speed. Look at them go. And... haste. Why not? Yeah, so with this faction you keep losing your Hobbitiers so like crazy, but except for that, they are extremely sturdy. Yeah, 22 Hobbitiers were lost. That doesn't matter though. So let's upgrade the Aeromancy. Resurrection? Resu freaking Rection? How does it work? So, affects corpses, returning some to life to fight for you. That sounds like it worked on the enemy forces as well. And I think the green player is living behind the next gate, and not this one. Okay. So I wonder if I should break through here and uh, just go into a fence. I'd say yes. There's rarely anything to be gained by, uh, by being hesitant. So, let's drop one more projectile shield here on my ranged units, just to make sure that our losses will be as minimal as possible. Let's drop a haste on our dudes, just to make the break for a little bit faster. There we go. So, red dragons. Man, there's a lot of dragons around here. And let's just be generally a pain. Claim everything there. So, I feel as if I might have uh, successfully steamrolled the uh, green player, because usually when the AI doesn't uh, charge towards you, that's a uh, sign that you are above them, so this fight is flagged as easy, so I'll take an easy fight every day. So confuse those guys my god they have watchers on the walls sick so let's start out with a missile deflection here and see what, uh, how it will work out mm, let's distract a, a couple of them and I still got eight mana so, I want to hasten my back line a bit. And now we're in the castle. And there's already troops falling on the enemy side. Oh well. Let's bless a couple of them, although I don't think that's going to do... It's not going to make much of a difference in the head out. I'm too tired yet. Yeah. See you soon, Rissy. Thanks for dropping by, man. I'm tired myself, too. I don't think that I'm going to stay that much longer, either. I mean, this game pretty much looks like I already won it as well. Like, if I'm able to tackle down the green player like that, most likely, with the power of three cities that I have under control now, I should be able to tackle down the blue player as well. Probably. Most likely. I don't know. But, um... Uh... Yeah. See you soon, Rusty. Thanks for your... Thanks for your time. More griffins! So... Oh, this buffs up their health and damage as well. Damn. Okay. 
So, Red Dragon, Gold Drake. Holy moly. These dudes are quite strong. Oh, and I learned a crap ton of new spells. Nice. Well, okay, green player ain't, uh, ain't completely done, I guess. That's good. I've been afraid that I broke my enemy here already. But since the enemy faction is called Burdened Lament, I might assume that I actually took their main, main army, main whatever. Just reminded me that there's actually still a citadel necessary here. So 20 of each. There we go. And let's increase our griffin growth. Why not? Griffin growth is a wonderful word. <laughs> Vanquished. Indigo Arcane is uh, vanquished, so that means the Verdant Lament had uh, grabbed some of the Indigo players' uh, resources, I see. I see. I just have to find out how, but <laughs> we'll see about that. Ah, here, here. I bet the portal here leads to the, uh, to the other player. Succubus. Ifrit. Good night, Ash. See you soon. Thanks for your stay. So, let's check out what's on the other side here. Yeah. Games considering that fight as easy, uh, as easy as well, man. So, let's drop ice elementals in here. Army of Giants. Turns friendly units into giants. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's work with a couple of summons in, inside the enemy town. Always sounds like a sticky thing. But, well, this can't be the last town of this player because he conquered the arcane player. But I think, well, it's a good point to uh, turn off the stream as well because I need a new game. So, well, next time I guess I'll be putting on a uh, harder difficulty because seriously, we're. Uh, I'm wiping the floor with my enemies every game that I put up. I mean, that's a pretty good thing. I mean... Seems like I understood how to power game correctly here. I just need to... I just need to find out where my last enemy is hiding, but never, never mind. Well, thanks for watching everybody who's still around. It's been my pleasure. That's how we rock the boat with order. Oh, there's one thing that I want to do before I go offline. I want to build the Tower of Idolatry and uh, check out what I can do there and check out the highest tier spell before we leave. So, I'm not done yet here. <laughs> I just noticed that. I forgot something. But all in all, I think I pretty much won the game. There's not much more happening. I just need to sweep up the remaining uh, enemies there. So, let's see. Creating an idol cre requires a human soldier, a weapon, and another artifact. So... Ah, I can't always buy stuff here. Interesting. So... Weapon and uh, acquires a human soldier. Does this mean something like that?
I mean, seriously, what's, uh... What's going into that slot? A human soldier. This unit, maybe? I can't ma ma imagine that's, uh... Whatever. Okay. Now I'm, uh, frankly confused. So... Archmage Tribunal. Okay, that's another thing that I wanted to do. So, a human soldier, a weapon, and another artifact. Oh, maybe I need to do something like that. Ah, here we go. Idol. Is it always the same idol? So, 65 power. Lash. Warding. Does it change? It's only here. Different. It's just, okay. Impenetrable. Half damage from all ranged attacks, wording, lash. Okay, so you can meld together here. And then you got the idol. Okay, so, good night everybody. Thanks for your stay, that's been a good time. See you soon tomorrow. I hope at least. Bye-bye.